guys, Perry here, back on Saturday. Not for best of the week, but we have something really cool coming your way because we know what your favorite parts of that show were. It was bloopers and behind the scenes, so that's what this new show is all about. Our topic today, jobs. We all love working at Collider, but we didn't just wind up here right off the bat. There was a long, long road for all of us to get to this office. So let's go check out what some of people's first jobs were. I was a party, a kid's party entertainer that would dress up like Mickey and Minnie. And uh, I did Barney ones, but I'm too short for that. And Powerpuff Girls. And it was a blast. I was a tailor's assistant at a place called The Button Box. Don't go anywhere. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. Oh, hey. Yes. What's going on? Ah, oh, hide, hide the spoilers. Hide the spoilers. Okay. My very first job ever was uh, working road construction. First, first job ever. Uh, all right, so there's the Western Washington State Fair, and I applied for part time there. So I was like a seasonal carny. They called us Green Help. Uh, I worked at Honey Baked Ham as a glazer. You, you, what you did is you took the ham and you sprayed it with sugar and you took a blowtorch and melted the sugar on the ham and you took their special sauce, it was called Royal, and you whew, like that and you push it out 20 to 20,000 hams in one Christmas holiday. Well, we didn't talk, obviously. Um, we weren't mic'd underneath the costume, so we never talked, but it was bopping your head a lot and you always fixed your bow tie. <laughs> the key to being a good Mickey Mouse, you should all know that. And now we're going to switch gears and tell spooky stories in Dennis's office. The local like, 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds who want a job can apply to work the games at the fair. So I worked the one where you have this ball and you had to throw it at the, the concrete milk, uh, milk jug things. I was a tutor, a math tutor. Well, actually it was math and English at a, you know that place Kumon Math or Kumon whatever. They have like a bunch of them. I always think that their symbol looks like a cookie. My actual first official job is I worked in the kitchen of a convalescent center and I had to wash the dishes and stack the trays with drinks and fill drinks and stuff. First job I ever got paid for, working at Garden World. But but with trees, I was like it was like during those were my busy it was Christmas trees. I'm carrying them on my shoulders at 15 years old. Like and, an well, you know, it was an Ewok, but I'll tell you, I can't say it on camera what we really did. Well and good. There was a cane because you could like you know like pull the milk jug things closer to you, and I would just swing this cane around like I was the Riddler from Batman Forever. It was a lot of fun. It really was. It was for two weeks. So even if it sucked two weeks later, I don't have that job anymore. It was a lot of fun. I probably would have quit my first job because it was the worst, and thank God it was only like a three to four month internship that I got paid for, and I worked at a radio station because you know I liked broadcasting, and I thought I'd get to learn about being on radio. And what I ended up doing at that job was I was essentially their radio van maintenance person. And all I did all day was sit in those vans, clean the vans, take them to get uh, a wash at the car wash, and fill them with gas. What's more exhausting, working road construction or running this place? Running this place is the most exhausting thing I think I've ever done. Yes. Uh, first job I ever had was working at a mini golf course, Mini Golf America where I had the course record for a brief period. The par was 40, I shot a 31, and then the owner got drunk one night by himself and played and claims he got a 30. I've never seen it, nobody else was there. People saw my 31. My very first job ever was actually not that horrible. I went on to have more horrible jobs, but my first job was actually teaching dance, which I love very much. The days off that I had from van duty, do you know what else I did? Uh, slept in the van. And Josh was actually one of my students, so you can you can see the technique. Uh, yeah, he they really paid off for him. He's he's taking it far. I had to wear their goofy duck costume and stand, stand in front of things. Do we have pictures? Do we have pictures that we can put up right now? You're putting me on the spot. I don't think I have a picture of myself in the duck costume, but I can at least direct people to a picture of someone in the duck costume. Back then, there was not enough cell phones. People didn't have smartphones and couldn't take pictures of everything. It's so true. But luckily, we have cell phones, we have smartphones, we have cameras, and we can capture all the behind the scene madness here and all the bloopers here. Oh, I said it. I said the magic word. You knew it was coming. Get ready. It's blooper time. Okay, my leather jacket twin, Jeremy John. And it's a happy Thursday, <laughs> Friday, happy days. What happened? Saturday, what a day. Christian. 
Uh, well, Jen, so John, I think that. Uh, <laughs> can I can I interrupt whatever it is is going on here? I was talking about her shirt because uh, when Link gets the sword, the guy says it's dangerous to go alone. Take this, and he takes the sword and holds it up. And I always thought he stabbed the old guy because the old guy just disappears after. I was a morbid kid. Perry, you look wonderful today. Thanks to all the great Collider and Schmoes fans. I've been in Seattle doing stand up this weekend. Tom Brady, would you say he's the last quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> What a segue, Mark! Yeah. What here for. Ashley, what's first? According to the rap, Ryan Reynolds' no, Army Hammer. No, I don't have the new write-up. <laughs> Obviously, someone I, that that was I literally <laughs> threw that I ball. I, I put it right it in the corner. Ooh, you guys know why else? It's a great Monday. Because yesterday was a great Sunday, and the Patriots won. Ooh. We're going to Ooh. the ship. We're going to the ship. Maku's excited. We're going to. The ship. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know I had a new. Star Wars Nation flying across the studio. And here we go. Let's go with that first one. There's Mark Riley. There he is. There's me. But there's no Twitter questions anywhere to be seen. Cody just dropped the ball. Cody, you blew sorry. it. All right. Cody from the back. Let's give it to him. Hey, Cody, for Cody always oh. coming in hot Man. with those random things. Love it, Cody. Love Way it. to go. If you were wondering what we know about Justice League so far, look no further. Because Collider Clash fucking crashed. You biggest scribble gumbunga. We're talking about creepy food in the fridge. How do you feel about that? Creepy food in the fridge is a hallmark of the Ellis apartment, house, manor, whatever you want to call it. There's always a jar of mustard, there's always some pickles, and there's always three random cans of Coors Light. If you were wondering what we know about Justice League so far, look no further. Because Collider Clash Course. I can't fucking speak today. Bleep it. Bleep the whole thing. And you guys can't see this. Every time I mention La La Land, Perry smiles. Like, you can't see that. But every time I say, yeah. yeah, and La La Land, she's like, oh. It's like it hits you at your soul. I love that. I mean, gun fu is a great term. As yeah. soon as they said it, my, my male part just went like like this. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's we don't need to hear about that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is what gets me excited wow. about these kinds of films. All right. Uh, I'm going to try and forget what you just said. So it could be something like that. But Nude is supporting, not lead. Good point. Thanks for squashing my, my horse. <laughs> What's in my fridge? That in, in the office right now? Your fridge. <laughs> Your personal fridge at home. I love how he's like, you mean home in the office right now? Wait, wait, wait. You have multiple fridges? Like how many people so like Arrival? Raise your hand. This oh, is, yeah. Love it. Sorry. Why do you hate that movie so much, man? <laughs> <laughs> he's a hater. I am so, 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 so... I can't even describe how pumped I am that Arrival was nominated. Oh my God, I am so... So Jack that Arrival was nominated. There's just, there's things about Sherlock that I love and there's certain about things that I really don't, which makes mm. me meet in the middle. You yeah. know, it's like vanilla ice cream. Can't really hate it. You can't like flip out for it. Just enjoy some vanilla. All right. uh, another one that's really good is fucking Arrival. I am so pumped that Arrival got nominated, John. It's crazy. Christian Harloff, where can people find you skipping questions? Uh, Twitter and Instagram. That's okay, I deserve it. <laughs> Definitely deserve that one. Twitter and Instagram, I'm trying to clean up my league. The fact that he doesn't mess more things up is amazing. Amazing. Uh, so, like, he does an incredible job. my mother job. used to say to me. <laughs> it's like reading a box by Basada Fat Fat. The fact like that he doesn't mess do more it. things up. We don't know how he does it, <laughs> right. buddy. But he makes walking. it work. Yep. He tied his shoes today. Be a B plus. Sorry, mistakes happen. If you don't like it, there's a garbage can in your house. Stick your head in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, will we ever see Paste Pot Pete in a Spider-Man movie? Hell no. Please, Lord. Pastebot Pete is one of the characters that I hated since I was a child. <laughs> I like cookie dough myself. Yeah, I'm a big cookie dough guy. Get on that Tonight Dough. Holy moly. The Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. What's Tonight dough? dough? Fighting an idiot character who carried around a goddamn paste pot. <laughs> and his name was Pastebot Pete. Fuck that guy. John, to quote every local news anchor right now talking about this category. Well, Jade, we're still looking for Dory. Hi, ladies. What's up? How's it going? Good? That's great. Well, in weather, it's still <laughs> raining here in California, and I disagree with Ellis. Zootopia is the one that should win. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little hurt that you got rid of the bangs look because I thought we were going to be repping that. But you know, you know, this works. Yeah, well, we were going to be called the Bang Brothers, and we found out that's actually a website that uh, you're not supposed to go on. Is, Babe, is that, you had American Dream. I totally forgot we were filming. Oh, American. Be <laughs> <laughs> real honest. I you're was welcome. like, so like, so we did try American Dream. That's true. When, good. when people complain. About us going off on tangents. That's that's the tangent. That's it. That's a tangent. Right there. Oh, hi. I'm Perry's evil twin, and I hope you liked the very first episode of Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and also add in some of your suggestions for future Behind the Scenes questions. Later, guys.